Welcome to ScreenSpace God Rays, an asset for top-notch pseudo-volumetric lighting for 2D, 3D and VR that prioritizes performance and beautiful aesthetics. In this video, we're looking at getting SSGR running in your Unity project and some basic tips and tricks. This video assumes you've already downloaded and imported the asset from the Unity Package Manager. To get SSGR running, we first need to add the render feature to our render pipeline. Do this by going into Edit, Project Settings, Graphics, and double-clicking on your render pipeline asset. Now in the inspector, double-click on the first item in the renderer list, then click Add Renderer feature and select Screen Space God Rays Render feature. To add an SSGR light to the scene, create a new game object and simply add the Godray light source script to it. Use the light's color intensity to adjust range and fall off. Use the highlight softness parameter to control light spread. The closer this value is to zero, the more pronounced the center of the light will be. The beam softness is a bit of a special ingredient. Use this to make the light beams appear softer. Depending on your application, you may want to fade out the SSGR lights towards the screen edge to avoid them abruptly cutting off like you see here. So to avoid the abrupt light cutoff, check the box called Fade Towards Screen Edge. You can also control the blur steps applied to the light texture. We can use any types of Unity renderer components as a fake light source. In this example, we're going to do this with the headlights of a car. If we just placed the light source in front of the car's headlight, this wouldn't look good, since the light would just go into all directions. By using a dedicated object that acts as a light mask, we can create a directional headlight shape. In this case, I'm using a headlight source object which already exists in the scene. So go ahead and create a new light object with the God Ray light source and add the headlight mask mesh onto it under masking renderer. Note that we also have to dial down the fill parameter to make our mask visible. As a final measure, let's adjust the origin of the light by moving it further into the car and adjusting its blur range and its intensity. You can use virtually anything as a light mask, like sprites, particles, skinned meshes, and so on. Let's also take a look at the 2D workflow. Open your 2D scene in Unity and let's set up the 2D light rendering. To do this, we need to go into the render feature again and click Setup for 2D. This will enable both the 2D mode and also the depth prepass, which will draw the depth for sprites into a special texture called the depth buffer. With the maximal depth parameter, you can control how far along the depth buffer the light is drawn. As for 3D, you can go ahead and adjust light parameters like blur range to your requirements. Alright, I hope you liked this short introduction into Screen Space God Rays. Please let us know in the comments if you found this tutorial helpful and subscribe to our channel to get future updates on the tools and games we're working on at Symmetry Break Studio. Thanks for watching!